A uniform ladder rests against a smooth vertical wall at an angle 60 degrees to a rough horizontal ground. The ladder has a mass of 20 kilograms and a length of 8 meters. A man of mass of 70 kilograms is sitting 3 meters from the base at M. If the ladder is in limited equilibrium and modeling the man as a particle, find the coefficient of friction between the ground and the ladder. So let's just explain a couple of things first. Here we have the ladder against the wall. We will have a normal reaction here, which I'm going to call R2, or you could call it N2 if you wanted to. And a normal reaction here will be uh, R1 or M1 if you wanted to call it that. Now, as the ladder would tend to slip that way, friction will act against this way because ground here is rough. However, there's no friction here because the wall is smooth. The centre of mass will be halfway along the ladder because it's uniform, so... This will be 20g, and then there's a man which is 3 metres from this point here. So, there's our diagram. So, taking moments about the base here. And I'm going to draw the ladder horizontally, even though it isn't, so you can actually see each force. So, if we look at this one here, uh, the component here will be R2 sine of 60 degrees, but that obviously that force will be acting from that point. So I'm going to add it on to my diagram here. This is R2 sine 60. I'm taking moments about this point here. So it's going to be R2 sine 60 times 8. And this, that is going to be the um, anti-clockwise moment. Now clockwise... I've got this force here, so I'm going to extend this force down here. Okay, this angle is 60, so this is going to be 20g cos 60. So that's going to be 20g cos 60 times 4. And then we've got another one here. Again, this is 60 degrees, so this force here will be acting this way. So that will be 70g cos 60. So it will be... 70g cos 60 times 3, which is this one here. So this diagram is just to show you this drawn in the horizontal position. Those are the clockwise uh, moments. So, writing those out again, we can make R2 the subject by just dividing by 8 uh, sine 60, and then 4 times 20 makes 80 g cos uh, 60 and then 70 times 3 gives me 210 g cos 60 divided by 8 sine 60 so using the fraction button on my calculator that will give me 205.103 newtons right look at the diagram now we're now just going to resolve uh, vertically so this way so what we've got acting upwards we've got r1 acting upwards and then acting downwards we've got 20g, my so we're going minus 20g and 70g, and that's equal to zero because the whole thing's in equilibrium. So that will give me R1 is equal to 90g. And then resolving horizontally, we're going to have F in that direction minus R2 is equal to zero. That means that F is equal to R2. And then we also know that, that F is equal to mu times the normal here, or the normal reaction R1. So therefore R2 will be mu R2 because we know that uh, F is equal to R2. So R2 is equal to mu times R1, which means that mu will be equal to R2. R2 divided by R1. Now, R2 is 2205. 0.103 so don't round this off prematurely divided by 90 g if we do that on our calculator it gives me a 0 0.2325 and therefore i get a final answer of 0 0.233 so this has been a video to show you how to find the coefficient of friction use it for a ladder problem i hope you've understood so we've used both moments and resolving vertically and horizontally i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching